SEC46. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the setup process of the device. So as you can see here, we are on the welcome screen and it says welcome. The language that we're gonna be using, it is English. So we're gonna tap where it says start. Then here we have for your review. So here you can go ahead and agree to everything if you like, and then tap agree. Then here it says easy setup with another device, sign in automatically and copy settings, accounts, and more from another phone or tablet. Keep your other phone or tablet near and unlocked. So here, if you would like to transfer information over from another device, you can tap where it says Galaxy or Android device, iPhone or iPad, or set up manually. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be setting up uh, everything manually. Now it says choose a Wi-Fi network. So I am already connected uh, to my Wi-Fi. So this bar, uh, we're gonna hit where it says uh, next. So you can see here it says uh, connected. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. Okay, copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account and more. So if you would like to transfer information again from your other uh, phones, you can tap where it says uh, next and then follow the instructions. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna select where it says don't copy. I'm gonna be doing everything fresh. Check in information. Okay, so here the device is giving you an option to sign into your Google account. You can go ahead and enter your email or phone number associated to your Gmail. Uh, so you can uh, log in, but right now I'm gonna be skipping this part. Uh, skip account setup. Without a Google account, you won't be able to download apps, music, games, and other content from Google Play. Back up your apps to Google and sync Google services like calendar and contacts with your device. Activate device protection settings features. So tap where it says skip. Google services, so more, more, and accept. Protect your phone. Prevent others from using this phone without your permission by setting a screen lock. So here it is giving you the option to set up face recognition, fingerprints, pin, password, and pattern. So from here, you can go ahead and um, set up your device if you would like to add any security features. But at the moment, I'm skipping this part because I'm making a separate video showing you how to you, how to activate every protection feature of the device. So at the moment, I'm gonna tap where it says skip. Skip protecting your phone. You won't be able to prevent others from using this phone if it is lost or stolen, so skip anyway. Samsung account, one account, any device just for you. Sign in to get started. So here, if you have a Samsung account, you can go ahead and enter your information. But right now, I'm not doing none of that. So I'm gonna tap where it says forgot password or don't have an account. And then where it says set up later in settings. Samsung account, why do you need a Samsung account? A Samsung account is the only account you need to connect and use all your Samsung apps and devices. It helps your app and devices work together to let you do all this. So basically everything that is there on the list. So the top where it says skip. Samsung service legal information. So I'm only selecting whatever is not optional. Okay, and then continue, agree. Samsung services, more and agree. So here, it gives you the option to go dark mode or light mode. But right now, I'm gonna leave it as the fall. I'm gonna leave it as uh, light, because later on, I will make another video showing you how to switch back to dark mode. So tap next. Taking care of your phone, so next. You are all set, so tap where it says finish. Okay guys, as you can see here, we have successfully set up the Samsung Galaxy C4 6. Okay, so now we can go ahead and open the device. We can see the screen from the inside. Okay, so this is how it looks. So we're gonna use it now uh, open. Okay, so now we're gonna go into settings to see what software version I'll be running out of the box. And then we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna scroll all the way down. And we're gonna tap where it says about phone. And as you can see here, we have one UI version 6.1.1. 6 
Android version 14. The Google Play system out there from April 1st, 2024. The baseband version ends on FD, and we have the Android security patch level from June 1st, 2024. So that's gonna be all for this video. So thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please click the like button. You can subscribe to my channel so you get more content. If you have any question, please leave it down below. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.